Hi, looking for a way to adjust the bracelet of your new watch? Then, you're at the right place. In this video, I will be showing you how to adjust the bracelet and links of your new watch, as well as how to do the clasp micro adjustment. I will be showing you two different procedures on the adjustments. The first way is to use a watch pin removal tool, and the second is by manually removing the bracelet with a watch hammer and pin pusher. So, stay tuned. In this video, I will be adjusting a Tag Hewer Lady's watch. And now, we will check the bracelet first. As you can see, there is no arrows, which means that we can remove the pins another way. Some watches has arrows. If yours have arrows, then just remove the pin going that direction. Then compare the bracelet length on both sides. And as you can see, the other side is longer than the other. Thus, we will be doing the removal of links on the longer side to balance the bracelet. Here are the tools that you will be using. A watch pin pusher, a watch hammer, a tweezers, and watch pin remover. But if you don't have these tools, then I recommend to use a regular thumb pin and use a screwdriver handle as hammer. But of course, I strongly recommend to purchase a watch repair toolkit which can be bought less than 10 US dollars online. This will be useful especially if you are planning to buy another watch in the future. It is always easier to do the job with the correct tools. Now, let's start with the adjustments using a watch pin removal tool. Since I will be removing links, then I will be working on the longer side. Lay down flat your watch to the tool and center needle to the link pin. Once centered, Turn the needle knob carefully until the pin comes out on the other side of the link. This procedure with the tool is the easiest and most convenient way to remove watch links. Then, remove pin with a tweezers or use a pin pusher tool. Caution not to drop or lose the pin barrel located in the inner link. Secure both pin and barrel. Let's take a closer look on the pin and barrel. Both of them has grooves that will lock each other when inserted on the link. Now let's proceed with the removal of link using the second procedure using a watch hammer and a pin pusher. Secure the bracelet firmly by the side on the table or any suitable hard plastic that will not scratch your watch. Center the pin pusher on the link pin slot. Once in position, start striking the pusher with the watch hammer. If you don't have these tools, you can do this process using a thumb pin and screwdriver handle as the hammer. Continue until the pin comes out the other end. This may take some time and few strikes, but it will come out little by little. And finally, the pin is showing. Now place watch on a platform where the pin can be pushed straight down. If you find this video helpful, please support me by hitting that subscribe button and notification bell. Take out the barrel from the link. So, that's how you remove links using a pin pusher and hammer. Now, it's time to connect the bracelet. First, insert barrel to the inner link. Align the two links. 
and insert the pin either way. Be sure that the pin is totally inserted through the other end before proceeding with the hammering. Failing to do so will bend and damage the pin. Then strike the pin using the plastic side of the watch hammer to avoid dents or scratch on your watch. For easier assembly, secure the watch on the plastic tool or a watch block if you got one and continue hammering. Make sure that pin is totally sunk in the pin slot. Use the pin pusher to make sure that pin is totally sunk and secure. I accidentally made some scratch on the watch. To avoid this on your side, I recommend placing some duct tape on the sides and make sure your tools don't have sharp edges. Now the link adjustment is complete. Secure all excess pins and links. Save it inside the watch box. This may come handy in the future. Next, let's do the fine tuning on the clasp micro adjustment. This watch has a three micro adjustment holes on the clasp. Other watches may have more. First, disengage the lock and start on one side. Push the spring pin with a pin pusher until it can move freely. Move the spring pin carefully to the next micro hole. Do the same process on the other side until you get the desired fit. Let's try it one more time to move it to the third micro hole. Now the other end is in the third micro hole. This is how it looks when pin is not in same hole and lock cannot be engaged. And, there you go. And that's how you do the class micro adjustments. Thank you for watching, and if you found value on my video, please hit that subscribe button and the bell button as well for notifications for my future videos. See you next time.